Today's question is from Endream. Boy Shinsei. I've always wanted to know which brush you use to dry your traditional works. Please tell us. This is a great question. Thank you, Endream. I have been asked about what brush I use by many people since my early days on YouTube. Before the pandemic, in my studio, all of my crew, including myself and the staff, used to work on paper for my manga. Except for one person who worked digitally. However, when the pandemic struck and forced us to transition to work from home, we made the decision to adapt and fully embrace digital methods. We need to take proactive measures to deal with this situation. So we started studying digital. I bought computers and chairs for my staff who needed to work from their homes. And I recommended studying Clip Studio, as well as learning and drawing from Akira as their textbook. You know, Akira is like a manga bible. It is an immortal masterpiece of manga. I instructed everyone to study digital manga techniques by following and drawing Akira using Clip Studio. Additionally, I provided them with extra compensation. It took around one to two months for them to adapt to the digital environment. Although I can't recall the exact duration. During that time, I worked Dr. Stone with my staff who was already familiar with Clip Studio. I also focused on drawing backgrounds. While I was working on Dr. Stone with him, others made sure to practice drawing Akira to get accustomed to the digital. Thankfully, everyone has adapted well. Following Akira was instrumental in helping everyone quickly adapt to digital. That is why Akira is the greatest one. Witnessing my staff, who were passionate about drawing on paper, transition to digital was a difficult decision to make. However, I also made a decision to switch the digital. Nowadays, we exclusively work with digital tools for all my projects. It's about coming together and supporting each other. I couldn't ask others to change the tools they love, so I also decided to change mine. I understand that learning something new can be challenging, so I committed to studying digital manga alongside my colleagues. That's how I made the transition to digital. Adapting to the new era. Prior to that, I primarily used brushes and pens to draw manga on paper. When I made the decision to use brushes, I conducted experiments with various options to find the one that suited me best for the inking. I bought several different brushes and tested them. It was a bit challenging for me to find the right brush. I found it quite difficult to get used to using the brush comfortably. And I decided to cut the brush to about one third of its original length and wrap it with tape before using it. I used this specific brush for drawing my manga. When I work, I primarily use the fine tip, which is approximately 1 to 2 millimeters in size. Drawing with this delicate tip is how I bring my manga to life. However, if the tip of the brush gets even slightly frayed, it becomes unusable as a drawing tool. Although the brush has a longer lifespan, I may not be able to use it for an extended period due to my lack of skill. So I feel sorry for the brushes that I couldn't fully utilize and had to discard. But when the brush tip splits, it's necessary to replace it to continue the work. So, I have bought and used many brushes that, if others had used them, could have been used for a much longer time. The brushes I have shown you are just a few examples. And there are a few other brushes that I also use. They are of the same type. And the price is? Well, they are not cheap. They are quite expensive. Each one costs over 3,000 yen, which was the price when I last purchased them. I collect the used ones and keep them in a box because I feel a sense of attachment to them. These brushes are like my footprints, you know. Just like with my works. They represent a significant part of my mangaka journey. So I have kept them. The mangaka who introduced me to this amazing brush is a greatest manga master, Taki Koinoe Sensei. When I struggled to find the right brush, it wasn't because the brushes were bad. 
but rather due to my lack of skill. It was challenging for me to find a brush that truly suited my needs. Whether there were any recommended brushes that would be suitable for me? It was a meeting day. I approached my editor and asked if it would be possible to find out what brush Taki Koinoe Sensei uses, and if he could kindly share that information with me. I was extremely grateful and surprised when Takiya Koinoe Sensei, through my editor, kindly gave me two exact brushes he uses. I was already grateful to simply know which brush he uses. But Taki Koinoe Sensei kindly gave me the brushes he had bought for his own use. Did I use that? No, I can't. How can I? If you were me, would you be able to use those brushes? Would you? The brushes by the greatest manga master. Of course, I couldn't. So, I simply searched out what brand and the type of the brush and purchased it myself. And when I met King Gana Sensei no as the creator of Beyond the Heaven. Sensei gave me one of his brushes on his table and saying. Okay, Boichkan. This is the brush I'm using. So if you. What should you do with these national treasures? For me, I framed them and hung them in my studio. Yes. Would you like to see them? These two brushes are the ones Taki Koinoe Sensei gave me. And this brush is the one King Ganda Sensei gave me. These two brushes are brand new and have never been opened. Inoue Sensei intended to use them, but he gave them to me. And this brush is the old brush that King Gata Sensei used in his studio. They are all my treasures. I will cherish them forever. So, this specific brush in the middle is the one I choose and use when drawing manga on paper. Let me show you. Can you also see the brand of this brush? Did you get that? The brush I use when drawing manga on paper, which I received from Takahiko Inoue Sensei. And it's not cheap. Actually, they are quite expensive. Thank you for the great question you want to share. I hope my answers satisfied your curiosity. And the next question is? This question is about focus lines. Do comic and manga focus lines also require individuality? Well, this question is sure, but it carries a profound meaning. It is about focus lines and does focus lines require individuality? The first thing you should know is. The focus lines are a form of effect. Yeah. It is a manga effect. For example, in manga, focus lines contribute to the overall visual effects. The guiding principle regarding techniques related to these effects, including focus lines, emphasizes that conveying power is more important than individuality or style. And let me emphasize it once again. In manga effects, conveying power is more important than individuality. However, Highlighting the importance of conveying power doesn't imply that nothing else matters. Individuality is also desirable. But it is not an absolute requirement for focus lines to possess individuality. Let's consider the option of using the focus line effects provided by Clip Studio. Should we use the materials they offer? You are free to use them as much as you want. Of course, they don't inherently possess individuality. If someone argues that there can be individuality in Clip Studio's focus and effect lines, it would be attributed to the unique features and characteristics of the Clip Studio program itself. If you aspire to study manga like monks, it is necessary to reconsider the concept of individuality. It's not a matter of some focus lines having individuality while others do not. Shouldn't we use the pre-made focus lines? No. Please feel free to use them. If you like the focus effect lines provided by Clip Studio, please feel free to search and use it. It's okay. If the effects work so well in your work and effectively convey the intended message to the readers, go ahead and try. But personally, 
I have never used the focus line effects provided by Clip Studio. Instead, I rely on my own pre-create focus lines and stored on my computer or create new focus line effects tailored to specific scenes. Would you like to see my collection of focus lines? Not all but just some. Something like this. These are the ones I have personally made. And something like this one. I have various types of focus lines. There are also ones like this. And ones like this. I tell you again, if you want to emphasize that it's perfectly acceptable to use the features and materials provided by Clip Studio then please feel free to use it. Just because I don't use them doesn't mean you shouldn't. But personally, I prefer to create my own focus lines, and I don't think I will use them in the future either. Well, I can't predict what the future holds. If Clip Studio or other digital drawing tools provide highly useful materials that catch my interest. I might consider using them. Who knows? But, for now, I prefer using the pre-create focus lines that my team and I have already developed or creating new focus lines as needed. To show you a little bit about how I draw focus lines. You see, creating focus lines on paper requires great precision and advanced skills. But creating with focus lines in Clip Studio is indeed quite convenient. Like this. Since I personally drew this one, it perfectly aligns with the specific focus required for each situation. Deciding whether each line should go. Stop. Move forward. And move backward. Thicker lines. Thin line. An effect of gradually narrowing from the outside to the inside. The choice is determined by the specific situation within the scene. You can achieve the most impactful and unique results. However, it does require some time. To capture both individuality and impact, you can also add some line touches here and there. It imparts a completely different feeling, doesn't it? Yeah. It adds more individuality and enhances the conveying power. By doing so, you can infuse a sense of individuality. Voila. So, it could be work. And I am telling you again. If you want to use the materials offered by Clip Studio or other digital manga drawing tools, please feel free to try so. It's okay. Don't worry.